Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived a man called Werner Heisenberg. You cannot know the exact position and the exact velocity of a particle at the same time. But why not? Let us understand a couple of things first. Really, really tiny particles like electrons don't have a single position or velocity. They are in a state of superposition. That is, they have different probabilities of existing at different places and having different velocities. So asking where an electron is while it is in a superposition is like asking, Hey, where is the shadow of this ball? It's at multiple places, right? These so-called particles also behave as waves when unobserved and this wave nature imparts momentum to the particles. This means that the wavelength is equal to h the Planck's constant over mv, the momentum of the particle. Since the particles are in a superposition, they have multiple momentums and hence multiple wavelengths. Another thing that we need to know is that measurement collapses the state of superposition. But we don't want that. Because once the superposition collapses, the electron exists at one single place. And its wave nature is completely disrupted. Because waves don't have a single position, they are everywhere. The wave nature that gave us the information about the momentum of the particle is lost now. So while we know exactly where the electron is, we are completely clueless about its momentum. So we cannot know both position and velocity with complete certainty. But we can compromise with the certainty. Instead of trying to figure out exactly where the electron is, we could come up with a range of places where the electron could be. Let's call it delta x. This wouldn't destroy the wave nature, so we'll have a range of momentums that the electron could have. Let's call it delta p. The uncertainty equation says that the product of the range of places where a particle can be and the range of momentums that a particle can have is always greater than or equal to h the Planck's constant over 4 pi. What this essentially means is that if we decrease the uncertainty in position, the uncertainty in momentum would increase. If one quantity goes down, the other one goes up. It is because of all these fascinating phenomena, such as superposition and dual nature, that uncertainty prevails.